Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be opening a, a repacked product that I found at Target. I found two of these boxes and it's from the world's greatest car chase. I've never seen these before. I think I've seen a couple videos of them opening these products, but maybe it was baseball. But this one is the football one. Now, as with all, these are pretty much like those Fairfield products that you guys see for baseball, like the hot corner boxes or those ones that you see at Walgreens. Um, for this one, it's the same thing with football where it says here you get 10 unopened football packs. But if you read the fine print, if it get that focus, well, you probably can't see it here, but it says in the uh, fine print, it says that these football packs are from the late 1980s, 90s, and 2000s from various manufacturers. And it says some packs may contain gum, which is not conception. Who knows? So yeah, you're going to get a variety of packs throughout the years. Um, I hardly open football on this channel, but the last time I did was Prestige, and I enjoy that. So I would like to incorporate more football videos on this channel, as, long, as well as basketball. But basketball is impossible to find. So whatever I find for football out in the wild, I'll go for it. Even if it's just a repack, repacked product. Why would people buy these? People buy these for fun, you know, to see how cards were throughout the years. Also, they add in the, the card chase for this. And this is, you can, it says you could uncover randomly inserted diamond packs, redeemable for superstar rookie cards and autograph memorabilia. So I'm assuming these are the possible prizes that you could win if you were to find one of these diamond packs. As you can see, you get a Tom Brady rookie card, you get a Joe Burrow signed helmet, Pat Mahomes signed jersey, looks like a Saquon Barkley rookie card, Walter Payton, Jimmy Brown, and Joe Montana. So, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get. Oh, it's sealed. Ready? I'll just go ahead and rip the box. All right, let's see what we get here. Got a piece of paper in here. Don't know if there's anything in there. Here are packs. Is this just a piece of paper? Yeah, it's just a piece of paper. I guess they just added that in for packaging, I guess. Packaging purposes. But yeah, I mean, I don't really open football as much as I say. I mean, I am a Raiders fan. And when we got 2-1, and one, we did lose against the Patriots. But, I mean, I'm not kind of, not surprised. But yeah, I mean, it would be nice to open some, some packs throughout the years that I've never... Because I hardly collect football. It's probably the first time that I actually do collect football. When I opened up Prestige. So, I'm not familiar with all the rookies from... From certain years, like which one I'll be looking for. But I'll be looking out for PC hits of mine for the Raiders as I start my little collection of them. So we're just going to go in order with the packs that are here. Again, not really familiar with these packs. I mean, I, I assume most of these are, you know, packs that no one wanted to buy. They're lesser known products, not as popular compared to, you know, Score, Prestige, um, Donruss. Prism and all. So here we got 2020 Football Premier Draft hit. You get five cards. It says High Series. I mean, I know there's some products like Leaf that doesn't have any of the logos, but they still make cards for some reason. So let's see if we get out of here out of 2020. We get a Lucky, Lucky Jackson. Chris Orr. Isaiah Simmons, that's not a bad one. You got Isaiah Hodgins and KJ Hamler. Alright, it's probably like one that just that I recognize, which is Simmons. These cards, here's the back of them. Card design's okay. I mean, photography's alright. I mean, this one looks just blurry. 
So nothing too crazy at that first pack. All right, let's continue on with 2020 Football Premier Draft from Hit. This is the low series. <clears throat> so let's see what's up here. So we have Tavion Fester. Kalik Hudson. And we got here of Jonathan Taylor. That's a good one. He's the... He got drafted by the Colts. And he's actually off to a good start for the season. I mean, who knew Marilyn Mack would get it? Would get injured and actually, you know, Jonathan Taylor stepped up. So that's a nice one. Oh, followed by Joe Burrow, next level. That's a nice one too. Still looking for his first career win in the NFL. Maybe he'll get it this upcoming week against the Jaguars, I believe. I have him also. I also have him on my fantasy team. So those are two nice ones. And then we ended off with Justin Jefferson, who also had a big breakout game last week for the Vikings. I just picked him up on my fantasy team as well. So hopefully he continues that streak and becomes one of the main receivers along with Dylan. Well, not bad. Funny how in the high series, I expect maybe in the high series you, re you receive players who are more well-known, I guess. But in the low series, we got Justin Jefferson, Joe Burrow, and Jonathan Taylor. So, interesting. All right, let's continue on with 91 Fleer Ultra. You get 14 cards in here. Not sure who's in this year's, what rookies are looking for in this pack. Um, I was, I wasn't even born yet. I was born in 95, so let's see what cards we get out of here. Mark Ingram, not get confused with the Ingram from the Ravens. And then we got Byron Evans, John Taylor, checklist card, Ruben Davis, Broderick Thompson, Todd McNair, Mike Young, Jeff Bryant with a little cameo of one of my Raiders, Winston Moss, oh, a Raiders linebacker, sweet. Don't know who that is, but I mean, he's a Raider. Kofer, John Grimsley, Robert Brown, and we ended off with Jeff Bostick. Um, let me know down in the comments below if there's any players that I've missed that are, you know, that were considered good or decent back in back in the day. All right, let's continue this with Upper Deck 91 Upper Deck Limited Edition High Quality Cards. 12 football cards per pack, counterfeit proof cards, random sequencing, tamper proof pack. Tamper proof. Whatever that means. I wonder if people were still able to pack search back then. Even if it said tamper proof. That's how these cards look. Oh, we got a nice collector's choice there of LT. It's not bad. And these are the cards that are going to be flipped around from always. Let's see, you got Johnny Holland. Calvin Williams. Oh, here we go again. Jerry Ball. How many of these cards are flipped over? It's tough. Let's see. Ronnie Lippitt. Monte Coleman. Marcus Dupree. Ron Hall. So far, I don't recognize any of these players so far. Ruben Mays. Icky Woods. I remember him. I believe he's the one who did the Icky Shuffle. We got Star Rookie of Browning. Nigel. Nagel. And Dan McGuire. So that Icky Woods one was pretty cool. All right, let's continue on here with 1990 Score Series 2. Special Young Superstars Glossy Set. It's nice to see how cards um, looked back then in the day before I started collecting. Nice to see how they look. Let's see. This design isn't that bad for score. So we got John L. Williams for the Seahawks. Irvin Randall. Nice. Chris Moore. Sammy Martin. Rusty Jackson. Danny Copeland. All pro of David Fulcher. Eugene Lockhart. Joe Wolf. John Rupper, 
the class of 1990, Keith McCants. Then we got a rookie of Anthony Thompson, Leroy Butler, Keena Turner, Matt Millen. Oh, I recognize that one. And Don Griffin, Matt Millen. Not bad. All right, now we got this action pack. 1990. Very interesting design here. How uh, the packs look back in back back then, like the 90s, 80s, all shiny. Just to get that appeal to people, like here, buy this pack. They're shiny. You have a shiny packaging. It's good stuff in here. Oh, and these cards are shiny indeed, and it feels so weird, it's like holding a piece of cardboard. It looks pretty sweet though. We got Jim McMahon, Roy Green, Keith Byers, Gary Reasons. Oh, there's a card stuck. Ricky Jackson, Lewis Oliver. Wow, these cards are interesting. They look pretty cool. Pretty cool how they are. But yeah, like the way it feels, it feels like. I'm holding a cardboard or like foil. That's a nice card design. That's dope. I kind of wish they would bring this back for current cards. That'd be nice. Nice set to have. All gold. All right. Continue on with NFL Pro Set from 1992 Series 1. Four. Let's see what we get here. Nothing too crazy so far. You know. We've hit some nice cards or anything. I had those hip packs, but besides that, not much. Let's see. Brett Jones. Tom Flores. There you go. Tom Flores. I know this guy from the Raiders. But here he is on the Seahawks, but it's still nice. Lemuel Stinson, Mike Babb, Craig Taylor, Marion Butts, funny last name, Marv Cook, Mark Mike Pryor, Andre Tippett, Sammy Smith, here we got here, Leon Searcy, Don Shula, milestone 300 wins, it's not a bad one, let's see what we got here. Ray Hanley, Richard Webb, and we got here, NFL Newsreel, NFL Teacher of the Year, interesting, Miriam Williams, that's cool, and we got a little playbook of how to win, but this is probably long gone and expired, we got some nice little cards there. So far, my favorite design is that action, action pack cards. They're cool. All right, let's go. NFL Pro Set 19. It's the same one. Oh no, it's from 91. The other one was 92. All right, let's go. Sorry, this video runs a bit long. I mean, it's just me first time opening this kind of product. I mean, nice to see how the cards look throughout the years. All right, let's see if we find anything, any Hall of Famers. Maybe I've missed some Hall of Famers, but let me know down in the comments below. Tom Raffman, Jeff Herrod, Frank Minifield, Hartley Dykes, Super Bowl replay, uh, poor Norwood. Can never get it. They can never get the job done for the Bills, or that Bills team in Rio. In oh, Jack Del Rio. Yep, used to be the coach of the Raiders and Jaguars. Not bad. Jeff Cross. Tommy Aggie. Lomas Brown. What do we got here? Oh. Heisman Hero Barry Sanders. Not bad. That's pretty cool. We got a referee card. Tom White. Clarence Verdin. John Hanna, Hall of Fame. Who's this? 
Jerome Brown. Mark May. That's it. Not bad. All right, we got Fleer 91 football. I like this packaging here. I kind of wish um, Tops or um, or Don you know, Panini would bring back, bring back this wax pack kind of packaging for a year, you know, just being nostalgic or for their next anniversary. That'd be cool. We got Brett Jones, Richard Dent, Jonathan Hayes. Hitters, big hitters, I guess. Bruce Smith, Ron Hall, Eugene Lockhart again, Bob Golick, Raiders D line. Not bad. Don Warren, Stan Humphreys, Robert Clark, Tim McKire, Randall Cunningham. That's the one I recognize. That's not bad. Do All Love, and Mark Murphy. All right, we're down to our last pack here. I mean, this video, this video shouldn't have taken more than 10 minutes, I guess, but apologies. I mean, I do have another box of these, so now that I know what to expect in these um, boxes, I'll go a bit more quicker on on the on the next video. Apologies for it being long, but for those who has who has stayed to watch the whole video, I appreciate it. Last pack here we have Pepper Johnson, cool name, Wayne Fontes, Scott Norwood again. He probably missed the field goal right there. Aaron Cox. Derek Thomas. Robert Lyles. Chuck Long. Gerald Riggs. Steve DeBerg. Dermonte Dawson. Marty Scheinheimer. That's a good one. He was a good coach for some time. Unfortunately, he couldn't get it done. Eric Metcalf. There we got Anthony Carter. Not bad. Gary Clark. And we finish it off with Dick Enberg. Well, I mean, we did get some nice nice cards out of there. Ones that stood out to me. I probably missed some that you guys let me know down in the comments below of me. But if anything, these are the best cards I feel out of this whole box. The Justin Jefferson, Joe Burrow. And John T. Taylor. These cards probably don't go for much, but I would consider those the hits of the box. Again, thanks again for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of this. Have you guys seen these boxes out in the wild? Are you guys going to pick them up? Or are you guys not? Uh, I do have another box to open, so I'll be on the lookout for that. I'll probably open it tomorrow since tomorrow is on Thursday for Thursday Night Football. I'll get a video before the game. But yeah, I mean... Let me know what you guys think of this product. I mean, I know it's not very appealing to to many because it's just they know it's just a bunch of junk wax packs, you know. But you don't know what you'd find. Nice too. It was just nice to see um, how cards looked back then, before I started collecting, or even before I was born. So yeah, thanks again for watching, guys, and just stay care, uh, take care, and have fun. Bye.